Okay, well, I'm going to scoot up to the computer, but it looks like even a worse angle than the right side. I think that's why I never did that. And that's about as close as I can get it, and me still scoot my chair up. So... still at a real severe angle. I can see that just, just sitting here looking at it. And if I move an inch, I'll bump that table. Knock the camera off of there probably. So uh, I don't think that's going to work. That's why I figured other ways to, but it is a good height. It's what's on the tripod. It's just exactly almost the right height. I mean, it's a little higher. The desk is better because it's puts it more even with the screen closer to it I guess well, it's a little low on this side and on the other side it's a little higher so. but that's the thing that's hard to do is get a view of, your, of what you're looking at without your big head in the way and of course I don't want to drag a ladder in here every, every time I want to do that either so I have a painter's ladder with a paint bucket hole, you know, shelf on it so um, I'm going to pick it up because I can't even see the screen. But again, that, that's where it needs to be. And that's right in front of my face where I can't. <laughs> that's the other thing when I hold the camera myself. And if I hold it right there straight on, then I can't even read the screen. So then I usually end up dropping. I can't do it because of the leg on the tripod, but I usually end up dropping it down. Okay, well, there's... a. That's my test. First test of the tripod I actually screwed on. I mean, the, the cassette phone in the cassette case actually screwed on to the tripod. That's going to be the way I'm going to leave it, though. Because now I can set it wherever I want. I used to have to set a something heavy on uh, the cassette, the bottom of the cassette case to keep it from flipping over because the phone was too heavy. The only other thing, now the next thing I need to do is I think I need to just go ahead and get some, I have some sticky back. I have some double-sided sticky back pads that are really strong. I could put one or maybe two of those on here and it would hold that phone, but then it won't it won't want to come off for sure. But if, you know, that sticky stuff would want to stay on the phone, but it's just plastic case, so I could uh I could use some cleaner to get it off. I know that. As long as I don't use anything too strong, it wouldn't hurt it. Then I won't have those rubber bands in front of the screen because anytime I'm outside I have it to fa unlock by my face, but it only works good in here. And I keep forgetting to go out there. Well, you have to take it out. To, I can't really navigate it with all the rubber bands that are holding it on there. So, um, I need, uh, yep, I stuck it onto the cassette case with that stuff. <clears throat> I was thinking about using Velcro so I could take it on and off, but I don't really like Velcro anyway. It always picks up nasty looking stuff. Either way, I get it for on here. I get it on here, it would stay, or I put it on the velcro, and then I could take it on and off. I think I have some, still have some velcro ones too. Sticky on one side and velcro on the other. Okay, well, there's my progress on my phone pod. All right, bye.